And I mean, Blue Peter video it different. <laughs> Let's get cracking. Hello and welcome to our channel, Renovate Innovate. Today I'm going to show you how to make an, an industrial style pipe lamp, which looks like this. Pretty cool, you'll admit, yeah? Uh, here's all the things, or most of the things you're going to need to make it. The links to all these things will be listed in the description below. Just click on there and it'll take you through. First of all, what we'll be doing is we'll be cutting a steel frame, mounting these uh, brackets, we'll be cutting the steel tubing, assembling all the frame together. Then we'll be moving on to the electrics. If you're not competent with the electrics, Get somebody who is certified to, to check your work, make sure it's safe to use. After that, we'll be fitting the light fittings and the bulbs to our shades and we'll be painting those. And if you do like this video, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, like the video and click on that notification bell to get notifications of our next projects. Let's get cracking. Okay, so step one, here we are. We're about to get our base ready. You can get your own cut to size. The dimensions will be in the description below, but we're going to cut ourselves from this off cut we've got, we're going to recycle. So we're going to crack on now. Okay, little top tip, try and get yourself a mains powered angle grinder. Otherwise you'll be swapping batteries every five minutes like I am. Okie dokie, <laughs> let's crack on. Now we're going to cut the side lengths to the correct length, all the dimensions are in the link below. We'll also cut the centre pieces, get them ready for drilling for the wiring. And we're going to cut them, we're lucky enough to have this chop saw. If you don't have a chop saw, you could use an angle grinder with a thin metal cutting disc or even a hacksaw. But we're going to get on with this and we'll start cutting now, then we'll move on to drilling. One thing you must remember, whenever cutting this, personal protective equipment every time, eyes and ears for definite. We've got our side lengths cut to length, and we're ready now for marking out for our holes that we're running the cables through for the lamps. What we've done is we've put our top clamp on and the bottom clamp on, seated right in to the end of the bracket. We've taken a measurement from the top of our base plate, to the centre of the top bracket and we've divided that measurement by four. In this case it's given us a spacing of 445 millimetres to our three holes that we'll need. We're going to mark these. There is a line down the centre of this just in the manufacturing process I think which leaves a nice straight line all the way down. You can check on yours but that's what we'll be marking on. We'll be punching it with our punch again taking it over to the drill. The next step is just to mark a centre line on these cross members where the pendants will be hanging from. I'm just going to use a little punch ready for drilling. I'll drill this one over there now. Okay, drilling's all done now. We've got these all ready to go. I'm just going to give them a deeper a clean up inside and outside just so it's nice and safe because there'll be electrical wires running through some of these. Okay, right here we are, we're ready for painting our shades now. Of course, you don't have to paint your shades, but we are. We've got brand new shades. We're going to paint ours four different colours. All we're going to do, give them a scratch down with a scourer, give them a clean up with some pre-paint, dry them off, and then just spray them. We are going to be using rattle can paint there, just universal car paint, I suppose. That's all we're using, so easily available. And it should stick to this once it's scratched and clean. Thank you. 
Right, so the next stage now, all these are rubbed down. They've had a bit of a clean. Just gonna mask them off so we don't get any overspray on the inside. And then we're ready for, for spraying. This one, we'll be spraying a, a pink color, because these this light's gonna go into a, a new printing firm. So it's the CYMK, is that right? So they're the colors, cyan, yellow, magenta, and black, if I've got that right. So now we're ready for spraying. Okay, it's very important now, when you're spraying, to be in a well-ventilated place, preferably outside for something like this, and also wear a mask as well. And we'll, uh, we'll get on with it now. All right, that's it. Happy with that. That's the first coat of paint done. This one's tacky, this one's ready to go for its second coat. And we'll get on and do that now. Mask on again, and away we go. Right, here we are, back in the workshop, ready for our pre-assemble to make sure it all fits together and it's going to look great. We've got our long lengths cut and drilled ready for the wires on one side. We've got the four centre ones drilled ready to take the wire and the connector for the lamp. So we start putting it together now, get our feet on and these centre connectors and the top, the elbow at the top. So we'll just get on with that. Right, a little tip just for fixing all these grub screws is, if we use the line that's on there already to line and pull our screws and we know they're all pointing in the same direction. Right, so here what I'm doing is I'm just ensuring that all these are the same distance apart and that they all sit nice and parallel to the ground, so not level, I suppose. So this one's just got to come down a little touch and we should be there. Right, so here we are, we've got our frame pre-assembled. Take one side apart, ready for our wiring. I'm going to mark up all these brackets so we know where to put them. And I get it wired up. We'll get this fancy flex, rope flex for the lamps to fit on and we'll run up some twin and earth cable through this leg. So what we're gonna do is cut the cables to length for each one and we're going to what they call daisy chain the cable from this one up to this one and now up to this one and up to the last one there so we'll cut the first one and feed the cable in now We've got our cables fed in, ready for wiring. Um, we've used two different kinds of flex on this. It's up to you what flex you use, but again, with the connections, we're using these Wago connectors. You could solder them, um, but really get somebody who's a qualified electrician to wire this up for you. Somebody who really knows what they're doing, who can sign it off as being safe. Right, that's it. That's all the wiring done. We're going to get this electrically tested by our electrician on site and then we'll get it painted. Right, we've brought it back down. We've got our industrial lamp ready for its painting. What we're going to be using is this 
rustic one hour rusting solution. It's a two part system. We'll spray this bottom coat, base coat first all over it and then we'll come back when that's dry and spray the top coat on which will rust and give it a beautiful rust finish. For ease for us what we've done is we've screwed it down to this pallet so we can get all the way around it and spray it from all angles. If, uh, if you're doing this yourselves at home you can lean up against the wall, put some dust sheets around, get somewhere to hold it while you paint it. Don't rush this process, this is going to be the finished thing you'll see all the time. So, and don't forget masks when you're spraying any aerosols. So we're going to get started now. Right, well that's done. We've used a whole can of this first coat. We're going to leave that to dry and then we'll get ready when it is dry to put our next coat on. Right, we're back here now, nearly fully assembled. We've got our paint effect on there. We're ready to get it all together, bolted down to the base, get the lamps and the lights in. You might need a little bit of assistance feeding the cable through and holding up the main of the lamp as well. There's a little bit of weight in that. So I'm just gonna carry on and get this put together for you. Right, here we are, moment of truth for our pipe, industrial style pipe clamp lamp. I'm gonna go and switch it on now. Fingers crossed. Not really, we knew it would work. <laughs> that looks awesome, as you all agree. I'm just gonna run through what we did. We got our pipe, we got all that cut to length, we got our clamps bought with lamp shades, the lamp holders, the cables, everything we needed to assemble it. Cut everything to length, assemble it dry first, then we got it wired up and checked for safety and then we got the rust effect paint on there sprayed these up and the base together when we did get ours assembled fully last time we weren't 100 percent happy with the base so we decided to make it a little bit more industrial and what we've done is we got a hardwood pallet and we've chopped that up stuck it all together and stuck it to the metal base that we had there Okay, top tip, when you are routing or sanding or chopping, anything, whatever you're doing, make sure you close your toolboxes so they don't get full of sawdust like this. Save yourself a little bit of time. Brilliant. So a little bit about the base, what we've done there with this awesome looking sign. It's been made to look like it's been stamped on, like branded. But what we did, we were able to get this awesome stencil, CNC cut, we fixed that down to the base, went to town with a blowtorch over the top to get that effect. If you were to do your own, you could just use cardboard, cut out your own stencil and use a spray paint and you get a real similar effect. In hindsight though, we'd attach it slightly differently in that we used an adhesive which wasn't heat proof or heat resistant so it's separated from the base a little bit. We've got around that by fixing some screws to the bottom to help pull it down but next time we'd 
use a fire or a heat resistant adhesive. Right, so there we go, job done. Hope you'll agree, it looks fantastic. And if you've had a go at doing one yourself, please tag us in your post so we can see. And don't forget to like and share the video. Hit that notification bell so you can see all our amazing videos we've got coming up and the ones we've already done. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.